Okay, so I posted a video about a certain grenade called the Rain Firestorm a few days back and you guys were a little interested in my Zane grenade build, the loadout I am using and set up and so forth. So today guys, I bring you the build I made especially for this Rain Firestorm which just absolutely melts everything. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out the video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out. And if you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands 3 videos, be sure to subscribe. Also guys, I'm giving away copies of Borderlands 3. So to win one, make sure you're subbed to this channel and have notifications turned on. Drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. So the Rain Firestorm, an absolute monster. Check out what it's capable of on screen now. so fun watching the clouds open up dropping a ton of fireballs it really is and this isn't even the best version too there's a better version out there which i am still chasing okay so firstly my artifact now this probably isn't the best to go with this grenade but i mean it gives plus 30 percent grenade damage i could probably get something which helps with its uh solar as well which because obviously the grenade solar so uh, an artifact which gives you 30 plus grenade damage as well as any bonus solar damage would be absolutely amazing also guys i do have this right here next day resource for shakarator as you can see this also gives us 30 percent grenade damage and we also see that little icon there the eggs in the basket which basically kills regen your grenades and giving us plus two there it's a win-win nothing on my shield which helps at all uh, i haven't found a shield yet which will assist me in this grenade build okay so the build we are using here consists of all three trees only using one action skill obviously because we need them grenades so we start with the barrier we have five points whacked into adrenaline zane gains increased action skill cooldown rate this bonus is based on the amount of shields he has the more percentful the greater the bonus we then have this zane gains improved shield recharge rate and shield recharge delay and that's basically it from this tree next tree we have a right here it's a sentinel and first up we have five whacked into violent speed after killing an enemy, Zane gains increased movement speed for a few seconds. And then we have five whacked into violent momentum. Zane's gun damage is increased while moving. The quicker he moves, the greater the gun damage. I mean, this is concentrated on grenades, but you obviously want a little bit extra gun damage while you're here too. Because you're going to be firing your weapon also. And then we have this. 
All of Zayn's kill skills gain increased effect and duration, which you can't go wrong with. And finally, people which we put the most points into, we have Digiclone. We have five in synchronicity. Whenever one or more of Zayn's action skills are active, he gains increased gun damage for each active action skill. Decent. Then we have Premunitus, I believe that's pronounced again. I'm probably wrong, I always am. Zayn and his Digiclone gain increased magazine size. Now, because this will be the action skill we are using, the Digiclone, as it really does help out with grenades and so forth. This is a great perk to start with. Then we have five in Barrel Time. Zayn gains increased action skill duration for every active action skill. Pretty good. Then we have this right here, Duct Tape Mod. The first shot fired from Zayn's gun has a chance to also fire a grenade. This skill has a short cooldown. Grenade chance is up to 24%. Cooldown is eight seconds and we have one added in here from our class item two. Then we have this, the Digiclone throws a copy of Zen's current grenade mod when it's first activated. The Digiclone is killed, it drops a free grenade. Killing an enemy while Digiclone is active gives the clone a chance to throw a grenade. I mean, that's amazing, must have. Then we have this. Quick breather, whenever Zen swaps places with his clone, his shield immediately begins recharging which is a win-win and goes well with the perks of selected with barrier. Then we have Supersonic Man. Whenever one or more of Zayn's action skills are active, he gains increased movement speed for each of their action skill, which is pretty cool too, free selected in there. And then we have this, pocket full of grenades, two added from our class mod, and it does the following. After killing an enemy, Zayn gains grenade regeneration for a few seconds. Grenade regeneration is 41% per second, and duration is 15 seconds so this is great for regening those grenades so you can spam them out and lastly guys we have this the clone is equipped with a copy of zane's current weapon when activated swapping places with the clone causes zane and his clone to gain increased gun damage which is cool too helping with that damage output so yeah this is a build basically uh, built around gun damage as well as grenades and what you can do with grenades i mean the sentinel is okay for grenades, I mean you get a few perks here which do help with grenades, but I don't think they're as efficient as what we get with the Digiclone, so Digiclone is what we're going to go for. I mean if we could use both of these and still have the ability to throw a grenade, that'd be incredible, but I do think the Digiclone when it comes to grenade spamming and grenade mods is the best of the three skill trees we have here. So yeah guys, use this uh, build if you have a current grenade mod you like spamming i mean this is a great great build for them spamming of them grenades and i mean the rain firestorm is just a monster of a grenade it really is i mean it just opens up the sky as you saw it just rains down on fireballs it's absolutely incredible now i do have this right here given to me by a pal i think it's the merv hex but i am after a couple of others too i mean this is actually quite a decent grenade and i may create another build around this grenade i mean there's a few uh, mods here that do assist with cryo damage and so forth so it it might be worth my time looking into it depends if i can get another hex offering a different element but we will see people i'm not sure if they do drop that's the only one i've seen so far and that was given to me by a friend so yeah guys this is my zane grenade build i hope you enjoy it and i hope you use it if you do leave a like really helps out if you're new around here and want to see more videos on borderlands 3 be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video i upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully i will see you on that next one